Welcome to the wonderful world of physics. Today, I'm going to be doing a podcast about relativity. Oh, hey y'all. Hi, I'm from YouTube. Yeah, why study relativity? It's great physics. And it gives you a question, it gives you common questioning to find answers to your assumptions. And it's a great way of looking at physics in any situation, for example. Let's make it interesting, right? And fist pop it, right? So, fifteen chapter 15 is dealing with special relativity with, relativity with space and time. So, people came up with this idea that space was straight. But space isn't straight, that's an assumption. Space is like a bundle of dog, tiny dog clothes. It's all ruffled and weird. It's like this tiny dog. <sighs> My mom's dog. Yay, see how different it is? It's not a straight line. It's a weird animal. A lot of people think that space is straight, but realistically, everything is wobbly. Super cool, huh? Some people think they see double vision. Maybe they're not crazy. Maybe the world is all spindled and whatnot. We don't know. But what we do know is that we have a great theory from a great man that came up with E equals MC squared. Wow. So, to make sure you guys don't fall asleep, we'll be talking about chapters 15 and 16. This is to help you get a good score, people. So, during chapter 15, we're going to learn about the special theory of relativity. So, back in the 1900s, uh, Einstein came up with this idea that motion is relative to time. And, uh, well, basically what he was saying is relativity is what is in front of you at the present time. What is interacting with you? For example, if you were in this bottle, then... If when I shake it, you would shake. But notice how the world around it isn't as effective as you thought it would be. I mean, this is all going back to Newton's three, uh, Newton's three laws. And you should know them by this time in the podcast. So another example that will help you understand this theory a little bit better is I'm driving. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm driving and I'm safe. But when I turn, my body turns. So when you're actually driving, you're affected by the actual vehicle that's moving. So, if you were to say, try to drink this water while someone turns, it's not going to work out. Because the water is is swishing around, and you could get all over your clothes. So, if you reach the speed of light, you can change time, essentially. Because time is relative. Woohoo! Yeah! So... People like to think that the universe is simple. Did you ever think you were seeing double? Hmm. Maybe you're not crazy after all. Crazy! This crazy guy! This crazy guy named Einstein came up with the theory of relativity. Which is what this podcast is about. Woo, right? Alright. So, we like to think that space and time is normal. But, according to Einstein... We just assumed that everything would be straight. But realistically, it's like a ball of string. That's how time works. We have this big bundle of stuff and it's just all crinkled. And what we like to refer to it is called it the, uh, it the, uh, oh! <laughs> uh, fourth dimension. So, let me tell you about the chapters. We'll be going through chapters 14 and 15. Super cool, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woohoo. Anyway, I'll do my best to make this interesting. And you just enjoy it? Oh, yeah. You should like it a lot. What is special relativity, you ask? It's a theory published in 1905 by our beloved Albert Einstein. In 1905, Albert Einstein published the theory that we call the theory of relativity. So, in a nutshell, what that is, is time and distances are not exactly what we think. It's 
that says that when we're close to the speed of light, that time and distance change. And when he posted, it, when he uh, declared this in 1905, there were a lot of other scientists that didn't want to throw that theory out there. They wanted their own recognition. As the wonderful physics students that you are, you guys should know that the laws of physics carry wherever carry out wherever you are in the universe. Remember, light is a constant. So, say you live in this bottle, uh, and I toss this bottle. Of course you're going to go with it, but was I changed directly because I threw that bottle? According to the laws of Newton's laws, yes, but if we look about relativity, you swimming around in this bottle is not going to affect me. It's affecting you. This is why the theory of relativity works. And if this bottle was to say be flying through space, I, I could probably get my velocity high enough to jump on it and make a clear landing. So, wow, right? I got something cool. So this bottle's going by, and I'm running, running. Oh, I got on it because I was running. Therefore, de decreasing the speeds between us. This is why relativity works. Time stands still for a beam of light. Great fact. How fast you go depends on your velocity. How much time you use depends on your velocity. Velocity is a very key part of Einstein's relativity theory. The fastest people have ever traveled are a few miles per second. And Something cool Einstein had an idea with was that everything in space is relative. I'm relative to this bottle, these papers, those curtains, my own hair, this scarf, this jacket, and you are relative to the things around yourself. This is what the whole theory is about. It's saying that no, nothing in space has a set time or a set speed. It's all relative like i am related to my brother you are related to the objects around you but an object that is not around you doesn't affect you it's just a perspective essentially for a better idea on physics oh gosh what the heck r now right through the cracks now i'm trying to get back before the cool done run out, I'll be giving a try. She's so beautiful, and I tell her every day. Cause you're amazing, just the way you. <laughs> you could use your. On physics, talk to a Dr. Michu Karu or Kaku, K A K U. Uh, on YouTube, you can watch a lot of videos. You can also watch Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. And that would conclude our podcast. Thanks for watching. Why is all it just stop? Time. I'm the time warden. There's a sh basically the, the universe is a sheet of paper. Come on, never mind. That's all. Become. Uh, yeah. Turn it off. <laughs> Just kidding. Stupid thing. Anyway. Why what, Wit? From YouTube. 
and I'm doing an extra credit podcast today. We're going to learn about relativity. If you'd like to follow along, visit your conceptual physics book. Of course, that'll be backwards for you, but it's by Paul G. Hewitt, and we'll be going through chapters 15 and 16 regarding uh, relativity. So, let me first tell you a sponsor, because apparently I look like someone off of a Windows 7 commercial, but I'm going to give you guys one so you aren't bored. Hi, I'm Whitney, and one day, I had this wonderful idea, and I found out Windows 7 was my idea. Okay then, that must be weird. Alright, today's podcast, we'll be learning about special relativity of space and time. If you'd like to follow in your book, we're going through. Go, we're going to go through chapters 15 and 16. And this chapter is like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, give it a thumbs up, right? <laughs> Alright, so, as you know, we have 24 hours in our day here on Earth. But what a lot of people don't know is that When we go through motion in space, it's with time. So, let's see. It's like this bottle and this cap and the air inside of it. It's all relative to each other because it's near each other. Uh, (laughs) So, don't think of physics as a bad thing. Well, that didn't turn out right. <laughs> ah, ah, just kidding. What's this gonna do? <laughs> Glitter. <gasps> and one day. Hey, this is Why What Win. So, today I'll be bringing you a podcast on relativity regarding physics. And this should be super fun, right? Right. Yeah. Alright. So, moving on to this. Um, people don't leave. Oh, what the crap.